no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net So listen, England, we have a special relationship, right? And that doesn't just mean hand jobs under the table at the G8 summits and going to war with us even when it's just because we're bored. It's more than that, right? We can come to you for advice, right? A little bit of fatherly know-how, a little bit of paternal what for. I know we ran away from home years ago while screaming, you're not the boss of me, but now we're all grown up and we, uh, we need a little help. So here's the question. How do you let go of an empire? Because we know we need to, but it's really fucking hard. So far, we seem willing to let our entire country collapse into a pile of broken infrastructure, environmentally gutted lands, and Motley Crue reunion tours, as long as it means we can keep our 900 military bases around the world. Our economy is filled with debt, our people are filled with Kentucky Fried Chicken, our chicken is filled with hormones, our hormones are filled with mercury, and we don't know what mercury is filled with because we defunded NASA in order to pay the million dollar bonuses of the the corporate sacks of shit bankrupting us on the home front. Fuck exploring the heavens and furthering mankind. We need to pay for Lloyd Blankfein's girlfriend's expensive sushi habit. So how'd you do it? How'd you give up your addiction to thinking you police the world and control the globe? I'm not saying it was easy for you. I know you had to be slapped in the face a few dozen times too before you backed off, but I just thought you might have some tips, a little advice. Is the trick to keep one foot in the imperialist waters at all times, kind of like quitting cigarettes but still having one on special occasions? You know, you find yourself at 3 a.m. on New Year's morning with your pants missing and an empty bottle of Jack on your lap, and you think, why not drop a couple of bombs on Afghanistan? You know, just for old time's sake. No one will know. Is that the best way to do it? Because we have to come up with something. We've lost all our friends. We've spent all our money. We've already got two tickets for invading foreign lands while under the influence. We crashed mom car, we accidentally killed all our pets, turns out wolves aren't immune to cancer like we thought they were, we have illegitimate children all over the world, half of them we haven't even met, we just send them a Hallmark card and some guns for their birthday once a year, we're pretty close to rock bottom, but still, there's nothing like that high of true hegemony, you know? What? What, we, we, can, we can quit anytime we want. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. Tomorrow on the Moment of Clarity podcast, I talk with Steve Hicks, the brother of comedy legend Bill Hicks. Check it out on iTunes, LeeCamp.net, Stitcher, or Android app. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.